Hey GMS, I have come up with another fun project. I like some minimalist type things and I love to use materials that we have on, um, things that we can find, some found objects, just because I like to show you that art can be made out of anything, okay? So we're gonna talk about recycled art today and we're gonna make cardboard tubes. We're gonna make sculptures out of them. So first, recycled art. That is a sustainable energy that the environment and the environment continues to be at the center of political, economic, and social debates. As discussions heat up, so does the planet and contemporary creations can also join the debate through the more or less defined movement of recycled art. Um, so their assumption is that their work are rendered simultaneously beautiful and um, actually, um, they want them to be beautiful, but also show that you can reuse them um, reusable. Um, then artists, they encourage their viewers to question the stability and suitability of artistic materials. So you don't always have to go to Hobby Lobby and buy oil paints to be an artist. And sculpture. So an, that is an artistic form in which materials are worked into three-dimensional art objects. So the design may be... Um, freestanding objects and reliefs or service, um, surfaces or in the environment. So a variety of mediums can be used, such as fabric, glass, wood, plaster, or random found objects. And they can be carved, molded, casted, welded, sewn, or shaped or combined. So we're gonna make our own little sculpture today. And I'm gonna use a cue from um, the British artist Chris Gilmore, he said the use of these uh, found materials is a way of reappropriating or taking control of things around us, which if you live in a city are pretty much all man made. So he said that's just how we can take control and make something. So this is him. He is a British sculptor. He is living in it um, Italy now, and he's known for his sculptures that use cardboard to recreate every day objects in life-size scale. So here's just four of them. You can Google his name and see all kinds of his work. But as you can see, he has the old school camera. Y'all probably don't even know this is a camera. Y'all are so used to um, phones having camera accessibility. Motorcycle, car, look at that, slaying dragons, all made out of cardboard. Every inch of it, typewriter, everything, cardboard, 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 cardboard. So you can understand why I love to save cardboard in my room because you never know what you can make out of it. So our project, we're gonna use discarded materials that once had another purpose. In our case, we're gonna use cardboard paper towel rolls and to create recycled art. So right here, this was once one of those rolls that was in your paper towel holder. I love to save these. So if you're in my room, you know I have boxes upon boxes of them that I save because you never know what you can use them for. So we don't need a lot of materials. Uh, you do need scissors. I like to have a glue gun. You don't have to use a glue gun. This is a low temperature one. So please use safety um, whenever you are using that. Um, but you can use the runny white glue. It's just gonna take a little bit longer for it to set up and dry. Paper towel, or cardboard roll, it could be a toilet paper roll if you want. You can use more than one. If you're in the class with me though, my challenge is, is for you to just use one because that's all I used was one and that's what I created. And you need a piece of cardboard as a base so you can set your structure on and glue on, kind of give it something to stand on. So your process, I use little trees because we're using paper and paper comes from trees. First, you need to gather all your materials together. You need to brainstorm, take time to look at the tube, um, draw out some ideas. Do you want it to be geometric looking? Do you want it to have an organic feel? Um, think about different ideas. Mine, I have both mine on one piece, which I need to cut it in half. I use a geometric approach where I cut it and just had the circles or I sliced it and I bent the different um, pieces back and forth and glued them. You need to assemble, so build, smush, cut, or twist your tube and glue it together. Um, and you want to glue on the cardboard so it's nice and stable, stands up. Um, 
And I want you to take a picture of it when you're done with your Chromebook and put it on the slide title form, okay? Because this is a sculpture. Sculptures are three-dimensional forms. So you can see them from all angles. They have height, width, all that good jazz. Here is my two up close. Here's the one with the circles. I just cut the tube apart. Um, made them about a half inch large, I would say. Yeah. And I just built them. If you're a Lego person, you're going to love this. And I'm a Lego person. Totally love doing this. And then on this one, I just glued the um, roll down and I just made all these lines and cut down. And I started rolling. I took a pencil and I rolled and curled each part of the um, paper towel roll. And then I would glue it going backwards and then going forward so I could have these loop-de-loops. You can do something like that. And um, I've even seen some really successful ones where you kind of wet the paper towel roll and then smush it down and kind of mold it that way. Here is how you're going to upload it. Put it in your visual art virtual art gallery. And here is my socials, my email, my TikTok, my Insta, Facebook. Share with me. Let the whole world see your beautiful recycled artwork. Okay? Have fun. And I tell you what, this is addicting. You'll start wanting to hunt down all kinds of tubes to make all kinds of different ones. You'll get all kinds of ideas. Okay? Have fun. Can't wait to see them.